Hey, welcome back to the Frank Driscoll Show. I am super excited to have two amazing people on our, on our show that are absolutely just blowing up on YouTube. They are just crushing it. So we got Jesse Dow and Jackson Wilkie right here. And first, thanks so much for coming on the show. And they've got Living in Portland, Oregon, and they also have YouTube agents. And guys, these are blowing up right now. So first, thanks so much for coming on the show. And why don't you tell us a little bit about yourselves? Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, I'm Jesse and that's Jackson there. And yeah, we were, uh, you know, real estate agents here in the Portland metro market. And uh, about a year ago, <clears throat> we decided to uh, basically merge our businesses together. Jackson just became a, I was doing traditional real estate before that for about a year. You know, I did pretty well. My first year I did uh, a little about 12 million and it was primarily all for my cold calling and open houses and was starting to get into the video stuff a little bit. And then um, Jackson was our, my title rep. And uh, he decided to get into the real estate action and uh, he was doing real estate a little bit. And then, you know, we were kind of doing the same thing on the video front and um, we just basically decided to merge our businesses together. And I still handle all the real estate business now and Jackson takes care of all the video stuff. Perfect. Great. It's, it's awesome. And you guys were friends before working together and kind of tell mm -hmm. us how that happened. What, what was that conversation that led to, Hey, we should probably be like building something out together on YouTube. Yeah, I mean, I like I said, I was a title rep, so I was helping real estate agents to try and get more business, and I really got obsessed with the video thing. I, I had no experience doing it, um, and so I was helping Jesse, and he was actually the only agent that I could meet with that like said, cool, let's go shoot these videos. Let's go do that. All the rest of them were like, yeah, maybe we'll do it next week or something, so there was no like drive, and then I was like, screw this. I'm on the wrong side of shit. Like, I'm just going to go do this myself, and then started doing a lot of trying to do the traditional stuff that Jesse was so good at learning from you, you know, the cold calling and open house. But I just sucked at it. I was terrible. So how it all happened was like, you know what, I'm going to really focus on this video stuff. Jesse wanted his real estate business to turn more into like a media company than real estate. And that's where I came in. It was definitely a struggle and took a while, but like I really pushed hard on the video stuff and he continued to, you know, carry us in the, in the real estate sense of, of the world. So that's really how it came about was like, we, we both were good at one side of that, that industry and, and wanted to bring it together to build one. Mm -hmm. Well, I can, I can definitely say in, in having worked with Jesse and coaching him up, this guy crushed everything. Anything I ever told him to do, he just exploded and smashed it. Yeah. So it's absolutely no surprise that he wasn't going to gravitate towards someone else that is a baller and that he's not going to completely dominate whatever he does because that's all I've ever seen him do. So it, yep. it didn't surprise me at all. Once he was saying that I was getting excited because we were kind of going into this section of, of social media and having deals come to us. Right. And for you guys. So it doesn't surprise me the collaboration. And I know whoever he picked to work with when he was first telling me about you, I knew you were going to be amazing too, because honestly, he really doesn't waste time with anyone that's not. So take I had a good time. feeling that you guys were going to kill it. All right. So tell me about like kind of first how living in Portland, uh, Oregon started to build take off. You know, give us that experience of, of, of originally starting it up, right, and, and how that went. Yeah, well, uh, I can kind of like go into the intro. The um, We were actually doing a lot of just like community, real community-focused videos, like, you know, interviewing the local t-shirt shop, restaurants. Digital mayor. Yeah, we were really yeah. portraying this whole digital mayor piece, you know, like adding tons of value to all these local um, business partners. The thing was is that just like wasn't really – uh, getting the phone ring and people loved it, dude. Like we grew, it was really good for like the sphere and building a lot of brand recognition in the community. But you know, a lot of these business owners don't have, um, you know, they're running, a lot of them are just actually running the business and working in the business as well. So a lot of them don't have like real, a lot of time to like sit down and just chit chat and, um, you know, give you, you know, referrals or know who they know who's selling, you know, so it felt really good, but yeah, it just like wasn't really getting the phone to ring. So, um, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll switch things up and I'll, and I'll throw some kind of some fire out there real quick of uh we're starting to see a lot of agents you know do that because you see one or two of them doing it successfully but the digital mayor thing it works if you have a huge sphere the one thing you need to know is like I'm brand new to Portland Oregon so like I helped create this channel and I'm not even from here so you can do this anywhere but we did all these videos and these local interviews and they just never got the phone to ring. We even had the, the, the local police department wanting to team up with us. So it felt great, but the phone didn't ring. And that's when I really got the, the notion and the idea to, to 
get into search engine optimization. Like what are people typing so that we can answer those questions and truly provide value because those little parody videos that real estate agents are doing on social media and stuff are cute and they get a lot of real estate agents to view and like it, but the phone won't ring from it. So if you're trying to make money and survive and feed your kids, like those are good videos, but they're time wasters. And so you got to get in the world of SEO and finding out what people want. Well, tell us this then. I mean, that's really interesting because a lot of people, you know, at least that I see, I'm searching tons of different uh, channels all the time. And I do see a lot of content like they're doing like open houses or they're doing things that aren't necessarily uh, going to, to win over and over again. What was the first real video for you guys that took off that you were starting to get calls from for opportunities to, to get deals from? Yeah, just like kind of like the back end of that, the... Um... Like before we were, uh, when Jackson was in title and escrow, like we were building our own Facebook funnels. So to me, like, and I read like a lot of books on funnels from like Russell Brunson. So like me, like when I think of like lead generation or building anything, I just, I instantly think of funnel and like, how can we capture the client at the very top or even get above it? And when you have all these disruptors in the industry, um, getting better and faster with technology, you got to think to yourself, like, how can I get in front of these guys? Because that's really who I see as the competitor and the threat to the business. And, and, and the important part of what he's saying is we found out the videos. So I'll talk about the videos that really took off were the ones that are top of funnel. So it's before they even go to Zillow, it's before they go to Redfin to look at a house. The videos that crushed it for us were cost of living in our city, the where to live in our city. We did That's the video that actually really took off. And when we started getting a lot of phone calls, one, because... It showed people, you know, all the different areas of Portland and mm -hmm. what it's like if you're a family, if you're single, if you're retired, we showed all those areas, but we threw a call to action in there. And that's, that's one of the big points that um, we teach um, to any of our, our students or anybody is working on that call to action. Frank, you're the goat when it comes to telling people to work with you, right? Like people won't work with you unless you tell them to. Yeah, so we did all these videos and nobody would call us. They loved them. We were getting the views and we were getting the comments, but nobody called us. So the video that took off to answer your question, circle back was one was cost of living. And two was where to live in Portland, Oregon. And I threw our first call to action in there, which was, you know, we're getting calls from everybody um, in the nation and outside or in the country and, and uh, around the world. And we absolutely love it. If you're even thinking about moving or relocating here, you know, give us a call, shoot us a text and boom, it was like light switch, phone calls, emails, text messages. So those are what really took off for us. Yeah, guys, and, and those of you listening out there, listen, listen to what they're saying. So a lot of this other stuff, it's fluff, it's good, it feels good, but unless you really have like massive influencers that are gonna really push you, it, it's hard and it's probably not gonna be worth as much time. So do mm -hmm. what they did, don't try to reinvent the wheel. They have the formula. You know, these guys are the best I've seen at it right now. And, uh, you know, to me, they're giving you all the gold right here. You just really do. Yeah. So what are some yeah. challenges along the way to create all this content? Right. I mean, this is not so easy. Sometimes I think you got, you guys make it look easy, but what were some of the challenges along the way to really building out living in, you know, Portland, Oregon? The, um, everything is a trial and, you know, like there's so much, you know, testing this, testing that. And, uh, you know, the videos that work, the videos that don't work, you know, and it's really, um, when you think about it, like our YouTube agents has like alleviated all those pain points. And Jackson does that almost hundred percent on his own, that whole entire channel. It's basically giving you all the shortcuts to building the best real estate YouTube channel because we've made all the mistakes. We've gone through all those issues. We've Jackson put his personal phone number on our first like 50 videos and his phone still just gets blown up. So that's probably like the first thing I would advise everyone is get a <laughs> generalized number. I didn't think it would happen like this. Yeah. Yeah. So like, um, so that was like a big, big, uh, you know, pain point and it's, um, you know, just getting everything, um, you know, organized and getting a engineering optimization tool, whether it's two buddy, two buddies, probably the best one. Jackson can talk more into that, but I would say that those are like the first few things I would definitely dial in and, and then don't waste any time on the title and escrow and open house videos. Cause that's just all a bunch of crap. The thing is like, when you think about the funnel, those people are like probably in the home buying process. And nobody gives a shit about that. No one's actually typing in open house on their computer to like look and see who's burning an open house. You're looking at cost of living. You look at, you know, top restaurants and things like that. So here's the, here's the, here's the biggest pain point. You're going to do a bunch of these videos. You're working against search, um, search engines, right? 
the number one and number two search engines in the entire world, Google and YouTube, and Google owns YouTube. So the hardest thing to do is to basically impress the search engines mm -hmm. to rank. So you're going to do a lot of these videos that I tell you to do, and, and, I'll teach, and I teach you how to search the titles and exactly what videos to do, and you're going to get 10 views in one week, and it's going to really make you mad and, and make you want to quit. I'm literally starting a new channel living in Seattle, Washington. If anybody you know listening to this wants to start a brand new channel, I just kicked off living in Seattle, Washington. So go subscribe to that and just watch me grow that one. And you can do the exact things I'm doing. So you'll see how, how much quicker we can grow that. I literally am doing this video. I can do a video on living in Portland, Oregon, and it'll get a thousand views in like 24 hours, like, like that. And that's people who want that information where Seattle will get 10 views in two days. And I'm like, damn that man, this sucks starting over. So the pain points are just un like, you've got to put a lot of time and effort into these videos and you've got to just get them out there. They're there for the rest of your life. So that's the good part. Um, but it's not going to happen overnight. Um, and to add to that, we're not in the business of viral. That would be great. Um, you know, going around and doing the floss in every room of a house and getting 50,000 views on Facebook is cool. But like that was cool to a bunch of realtors. We have, you know, 15,000 views on one video alone that was searched, right? So that's 15,000 people who wanted that information and got it. Mm -hmm. Whereas your viral video on social media, nobody wanted that information, right? Um, so that's the big thing. Um, it, it's just, it's so hard to stay consistent and consistency is the number one thing, but you've got to just start getting these videos out. And once you can train or basically tell YouTube um, that you're there for, for real, you're serious, it will start getting you out of its probationary period and start to rank your videos. Awesome, guys. I mean, you heard him drop some serious knowledge, both of them. I mean, certainly consistency and that pain of starting out. Look, we've all been there. We've all had a YouTube channel that was hard to hit that first 10, 100 subscribers, right? Those pain points. But once you can just keep pushing past it and be consistent, it's going mm -hmm. to build and you can take a look at their Seattle channel, right? And subscribe, you know, ring the bell, like it, please give them comments, help. But once you start doing that, you're going to see they're going through that same process that they want you to start. Now let's kind of jump to the end of the rainbow. What happens when you do this? What kind of, what kind of volume or deals are you guys getting now from living in Portland, Oregon? Jesse, you want to comment? Cause you, you, you blow up my phone, Frank, dude, boom, here's more deals. Here's more deals. I mean, I love it. I get excited every time I see, you know, you crack another million, you know, boom in a day easily. So why don't you tell us a little bit about that, how that's grown and taken over your business? Yeah, it's, it's gone really well. And the thing that I love about, like when we were talking earlier about the pain points and whatnot, like the phone never rang dude until we switched up the call to action and Jackson was getting frustrated. He's like, dude, this nothing, this isn't working. This isn't working. And like, we met with this lender. They said, you guys got to tell people to work with you. We changed all that. All of a sudden, boom, the next day, the video popped and boom, the phone rang. And, um, there, it was a couple from, uh, Canada. And so now, um, our phone, we get anywhere from four to anywhere in the mid teens of, I'd say close to 20 contacts a day. Um, and it just grows every single day and it's absolutely crazy. But, um, you know, I was just looking at the numbers and in, in the last six weeks, we've actually closed, uh, almost 4 million off of YouTube, which is absolutely crazy. And we, um, you know, and like I said, we've been doing this now for, uh, since we switched call to action, probably like what, five, six months, Jackson. Yep. So, I mean, these were guys like in the pipeline we were working with, uh, we have, um, we've, we have three in escrow right now for one and a half million out of YouTube. And wow. we're working with any, I mean, we could be working with like realistically like 10 active clients right now that are actually looking to buy a house. This isn't, and I had to bring on a buyer's agent to handle all this business. Um, cause we just, we need to focus on doing what we're good at. And that's creating more content, me running the real estate side without going out and doing showings. Cause we both know like when Jackson was, cause Jackson doesn't do any real estate anymore. He's a hundred percent video only because he was trying to do the YouTube videos and take care of the client. And it was just taking him away from doing what was great. But now we're doing 12 videos a week or more plus our live show. And that's just what we got to keep doing to build the, the train, you know, and put those building blocks into place. Talk about our listening referrals too, because that's super Oh yeah, important. yeah. So yeah, so then also like, we have a really nice process set up now, which we talk about on YouTube agents. <laughs> and it's really like the client contacts us. The first thing we want to do is get them on a Zoom call, kind of like we're doing right here. And we kind of, then we take them through the process of figuring out exactly where they're looking. Most of them, it's crazy, dude. They've like never even been to Portland. They're like, oh, I just love your videos. I've always thought about moving out there. And it's hard evidence, dude. Like these people, some of them have bought a house without even coming here. 
and one of them wants to sell their house now to move out of the neighborhood because we told them it was garbage and <laughs> they, they none of them are looking that. for houses first though they're all looking at what it's like to live here that's why yeah. we, we gobble them up before the big dogs do so and yeah. we're 100 percent free and we're not you know having to pay for leads yeah so then um yeah so then once we go through the process of figuring everything out they're like we find out if they need to sell a house or buy a house or sell a house to buy one here almost all of them do so then we like hey we have a channel partner in your city we'd love to introduce you to them even if they're like telling us they have an agent that they have mm. selected as soon as they come here and work with us, mm -hmm. dude, they're like, Hey, we want you guys to control the whole process. Find us an agent in the city. We'll take your guys' referral. Cause they have like so much trust in us. And it's like, we have really, really good channel partners around the West and um, it has gone like flawlessly dude. In every single scenario, we've never had an issue with, and we do lots of like simultaneous day closings. So it's been really we, nice. Yeah. We, we have a video on our YouTube agent channel. It's a live call. This guy calls me and I told my wife to turn on her phone and record it. And first of all, he was like, oh my God, I feel like I'm talking to a movie star. This is crazy. And then we worked him down. And at the end of it, you know how easy it is. Like in my regard, when I'm not a good cold caller to at the end of it and go like, hey, you guys got a house to sell there? Yeah, I have the best agent there. It makes the process so easy. You do not have to worry about anything, but moving here will take care of the process 100%. You want me to contact that agent? Yes, please send him to me. It's like that was it. Boom, referral. And it's like, million dollar house, you know, $600,000 house, one point, whatever. So he, he can run the numbers on our listing referrals, but that's how easy it was. They yeah. trust us that much. Yeah. Just right now in listing referrals, like on the market that are in escrow is like 2 million and then they have to buy a house here. So that's going to transition to a house. Right. That, and regardless if they don't, let's say they got crazy and like, Oh, we hate Portland. We still get, which was that one house? One point five. Oh, one point five. Yeah. And it's only 1100 square five. Feet. We got a listing referral on like, <laughs> Look, it's phenomenal. And, it, and it's all start from that consistency, pushing it out there. Yeah. I mean, guys, just listen to this right now. The, that kind of opportunity where people are coming to you, they're jumping on Zoom calls, closing them, getting the referral from the houses they're selling, buying houses, sometimes sight unseen, uh, you know, in their area, right? There's no reason that you shouldn't. So let me ask you this question. What, what did, how did you actually end up starting YouTube Agents? What was the catalyst for, for that creation? with all these great tools that you can empower people? Well, what it was is that we, um, we realized that, you know, the space was wide open and we actually were doing another, um, we had another Facebook group where we were teaching agents how to build their business through social media. But then we realized that YouTube was just like blue ocean, man. And there was like no competition. Jackson and I both love doing the video. We're both pretty good at like engaging the consumers or the viewers and getting them to like us. And so, we realized that we, uh, and we, uh, I would say arguably have the best real estate channel in the United States for YouTube and actually like getting business. This isn't like just building a, a following, but right. we're actually closing real business from it. So then we're like, yeah, let's just teach agents to do this exact same thing. Because honestly, it like frustrates me to no end when I see these stupid open house YouTube videos or like, you know, the house is on their YouTube channel. And I hear them all the time. Like they'll DM me. I get DMs all the time. They're like, my YouTube channel is not working. I'm like going on. And I like look at it and it's like still the same old shit. Like open house. Oh, I just listed this house. I'm like, dude, nobody, maybe your mom is searching one, two, three main street of the house you just listed. But I want the, I want the video that's 10 million views of people actually moving to my city. Totally. Therefore you got to get the hottest buyer. And that's what I always speak on that too. It's always about, to me, it's about going to where the hottest buyer is at. That's why I love Fizbo's and open houses back in traditional ways, because I knew those were the hottest buyers. Absolutely. So yeah, yeah that was uh, I started it because I, I was getting so many reach outs, which I love. Like, I am so passionate about this. This is my job now. I spend every day doing this stuff and learning more. So as I learned it, I was getting so many Facebook messages and, and you know, instant messages phone calls and and they were just like you know how do you do this how do you do that and i was just like man this this world needs it like you said you know it's wide open and and we're just gonna teach it so yeah we there's so many tips and tricks in that youtube agent i mean if you literally follow those you can do it too um and then we built we built our course too so it, a lot of it's in the course as well um a, a lot more it's like the absolute playbook on just start to finish how you can do it immediately but youtube yeah. agent YouTube channel, man, you can pick up a lot of good stuff. And I am constantly keeping up on all the algorithm changes and everything so that you don't have to. Yeah. Uh, if anyone was like, if I went back to the very beginning, it, it like 
ex- like a year ago today and said like, what are, here's my options. I can either do the way we did it or buy this course and just go. Like I would have spent the thousand dollars on the course and just said, screw it, Jackson. Like watch this course. We'll make it freaking rain super quick because we went through six months of Jackson trial and erroring everything. And yep. then we developed this course that like takes away all those pain points. So I would definitely, uh, we, we would have, we would have probably done four times more business this year. Had we have actually had like guidance, the, the real tried and true, like we're in the trenches guidance, you know, and we make it super simple for everyone. Cause and thank God we pushed through. Yeah. Cause there were yeah. times we just didn't want to keep doing it. Like it, we weren't getting the views, we weren't getting the subscribers and I didn't really have anybody to, to lean on as much, you know, to, to figure out what videos to do. And then, you know, that's transitioned now to like, I get these people to like, like Hey, check out this video on this thumbnail. Um, is this going to work? You know, I think it's going to be a killer. And it's like three ways to make more money on, uh, with photography and, and then, but it's a real estate agent. Right. And I, I told him, I said, this looks like I can make more money by taking pictures of a bird or something. I don't know what this, like as a real estate agent, I know using professional photography on, on your listing, you know, gets you more money, but that's the thing. Everybody's trying to shoot these videos that like they use realtor terms and they use, you know, all these slang terms and, and that real estate agents get and lenders get, but that's not what the consumers know. They're, they're, they're babies in this process. So you've got to find out what they're searching. No, it makes a lot of sense. So many good things to cover and we'll make sure to also check out the links below so you can go to all the channels. You can get signed up on their programs and get, get that immediately help to just start crushing it. So I want to, next question I want to ask is, what kind of things do you cover on YouTube agents? So like if they were, if they didn't know, if they've never gone to it, what kind of things can they expect that you're going to go over like on topics on YouTube agents? Number one, what videos to shoot? Number two, exactly how to format your videos. Number three, the, like the 80 to 90% rule of how you even get views um, is through your thumbnail description title, thumbnail being number one. I teach you how to make those. Like there are so many important things. You cannot just put a video out there and get views. Like, I am constantly tweaking videos that I did eight months ago to continue to get more views. If I get 1% more click through rate through my impressions, that's huge to me. That's, you know, 150 views a day instead of 80 views a day. So, um, I teach it all. It's all there. How to literally grow a channel like from day one that is successful. How do you decide? And there's some great stuff in there. I love that he's going back Mm -hmm. and constantly tweaking and updating. Uh, to improve, which is, which is awesome, which is through thumbnails or, or different keywords or the things you're going. How do you decide, like right now, if you were going to post like new videos for next week, how are you even finding out like where you would, what kind of videos that people would want or that you want to put out there on YouTube? The YouTube search bar is the first thing you need to do. That, that is always updated. If you go and type in Denver, Colorado, it's going to come up with 10 things that are most searched in Denver right there. And three or four of them are going to be about housing or you know where like a denver colorado tour so then you can you know that's an easy free way to do that there was a search um a keyword research tool called keywords everywhere that you could use that was free you still now you have to pay for it so the best investment if you're going to do this is um is tubebuddy.com slash yt agents our group and you get in there and the 19 dollar a month um 19 bucks a month you can literally start searching titles dude i've got like 40 freaking video <laughs> titles that I'm going to do in the next few weeks. Like I'm so far ahead. And what it, what it does, Frank is not only do you find the exact title that people are looking for, but it's going to show you how your channel is going to rank for that video. Mm-hmm. So if it gives you a 2% chance of ranking, that means there's a ton of search volume and there's a ton of videos and you're not going to rank for it until you have a baller ass channel. Like our living in Portland, Oregon, I can rank for anything now, but to start out, you're going to find those videos where you can rank really easily um, so TubeBuddy is, I think, the best tool out there. But your YouTube search bar, your Google search bar, trends.google.com, you'll find all the, the trending um, searches. That's what people are searching. That's what people want. And if you have the best thumbnail out there and a good description, you're going to get clicked. So it's a lot. But at the same time, we teach you all the way through that um, well, on how yeah. to do it. Yeah, like, and then to Jackson's point with that is uh, when we also first started in the YouTube space, we used to use keywords everywhere and we would look for the videos that had the most search content with zero competition for our city. And believe it or not, like it was the most relevant terms that were actually, that were the most searched and nobody was doing it like cost of living, uh, you know, the best five neighborhoods, everyone was doing cheap homes in Beaverton or like, you know, all these things that all these agents were doing. 
So yeah, that's why we were able to take off. Or... Yeah, we were able to take off so quick because we were actually doing the research and figuring that out. I love how you guys take the guesswork out of it. Like, yes, there mm -hmm. was some guesswork when you first started. Then you started going like to the metrics and the keywords and you kept finding better and better ways to find those and ways to rank. And I remember when Jesse would text me, dude, we rank number one in this, this, this. I was like, yeah. oh my gosh. It, it was like you knew the results were coming because of, of how you're ranking. So it was pretty awesome to actually see this all to come fruition. Now, now a question I have is let's say someone's starting out of this. How long does it take them? How many videos or time period before they're really going to start to get some success and get some that positive feedback from all the work they're doing from someone new that you're experiencing right now? Yeah, I just did a video on YouTube agents about this, like when to post, how many to post. It's going to take you a little bit of time. I could see you honestly getting a phone call in the first few weeks if you were consistent. Now, what's consistent in YouTube terms? Well, they say if you're doing one video every single week at let's say noon on Thursdays. Like if you did that every week for, for the entire year, that's really consistent and YouTube likes that. Um, what I would say and what, what I read is every 48 hours is the hot spot. You will see our channels every 48 hours with a new video, every 48 hours. So I could say, honestly, I mean, you got to think of this as an investment and not like it's going to happen tomorrow. Um, it, it's, it's a tough, long game, but once it gets going, it is the endless funnel. So it's going to take you, I mean, comfortably, maybe a, a couple months, two, three months. I think you'll get called before that. I'm pushing to get some in the first few weeks of Seattle, pushing real hard. Uh, we got a little more competition over there, but man, I, if you do exactly what we're doing, I think you could start getting phone calls immediately. And there was something Jesse said a few minutes back, uh, building a pipeline. This is tough, tough to swallow. At first, we did get a lot of calls, but they were all three to six months out. Um, they were working with us. We had them. We even took a lot of them on tours. Um, and now those are paying off. Like, like Jesse said in the last six weeks, I mean, it's crazy. I, we've had multiple closings each and every week just from YouTube. So consistency is big. It's going to take you a few months to really get going, but it's a lifetime. It's always there. The wave that's coming up this millennial, you know, going to be the number one buying age. They live on this platform. Our numbers are through the roof with that age. And as well as high school students, we're getting yeah, we high school they, kids hit us up all the time. <laughs> yeah. They, they love our stuff and they want to work. They want to work for us. They want to, you know, they're going to buy a house and, eight years after college and they're totally using us. So the wave that's coming, man, if you do the work now and it doesn't pay in two, three months, the two years from now, when we get to the two year mark, I don't even know what's going to happen. Like it's going <laughs> to explode. We haven't even hit the one year mark and we're talking millions. I mean, Jesse said the other day with, with what's going on right now with our business next year, we should see a hundred home sales from it. Like that's astonishing. And that is 100% free and organic. So if you multiply that out and the generation that's coming up, we all have kids except for Jesse, but where do they live right now? YouTube, man, they meet their friends on YouTube. YouTube is life. So like I, I would be on that ASAP, figure out what titles need to be searched and yeah. And the thing that I love is um, <clears throat> like the World Series, which is sponsored by YouTube TV. Like mm -hmm. people tell us that they watch us <clears throat> like a TV show. We can see it on the back end. Like 25% of our viewers are viewing us on their TV, which is crazy to me. Uh -huh. Um, and then we We've just started doing the 90% rule, like 90% is on mobile, dude, not on <clears throat> YouTube. Yeah. And we just, uh, and then we started doing our live show, mm -hmm. which is really like popped off. So yeah, man. Yeah, we got, I mean, he, he talks about the, the, the TV, but you think about that. Like they're watching us like a sitcom, like they're sitting in their living room on TV, watching all our videos. And we have, you know, almost 150,000 views now. And, and again, I always have to tell that because people are like, oh, 150,000, I've seen videos with millions. Like, yeah, that's fine. That's a viral video. And you think about there's hundreds of millions of videos being uploaded every hour. So that viral video is so rare. You, you can't even put a number to it. But we're getting 150,000 views and 50,000 of those views, people typed in a title into YouTube, found ours and clicked it. That's 50,000 people wanting our information. Like, and that's in the past few months. Now you talk about, you know, value and, and getting your videos to the right people. That's huge. And then now we're getting into the game. The game you want to be in is suggested videos. If you watch anything about Portland, Oregon, that's not our video, our channel is number one suggested. So our videos are going to pop up and we got um, like 30,000 views off that alone. So even if it's not our video, now we're being suggested up in that video. 
and they watch it too. So yeah, it's, it's a game of consistency. And once you're consistent, you will dominate your space. I just, you better be the first. That's why I'm laughing because if anyone comes into our space and this is why I love when people like want to come in and compete, we are naturally put right behind their videos, the recommended video. Then they come into our channel where we already have 150 to 200 videos locked down and thousands of subscribers. Who do you think they're going to and who do you think they're going to stay on? And yeah. that's why you got to start right now. And honestly, exactly. And find up, watch their stuff, get to the YouTube agents. That, that's why it's so important. And they, they hit on a couple points that guys, I just want to reiterate. Consistency <laughs> is key, right? Look, maybe you're not at the point where you're going to do it every 48 hours. Okay. You don't have to start there. Even if you're at the point of once a week, one a week. some content out there, YouTube is going to reward that behavior and look what they build up in a, in a short period of time. In six months, they're talking next year, a hundred real estate deals. Okay. And this is going to probably grow exponentially and more and more people are searching them just massive amounts. So, I mean, this kind of stuff is phenomenal. If you are not taking advantage of this, you are missing out and you might be obsolete. Like within three to five years, if you're not in this social space, if you're not on YouTube channel building this, what's going to happen is these people are just going to soak in the majority of the deals. So you're going to be fighting for scraps if you're not doing this. So I highly recommend it. Okay. Yeah, people, Go ahead. Go ahead, Justin. Oh, I was going to say, yeah, people always like sit there and say like our early videos were like really, really uh, intricate. Like us using a lot of B-roll drone and driving in the consumer through and people loved it. I mean, yeah, it was fun. And, but now we've switched hundred percent to like pretty much green screen video only. And if you wanted to, you could even do it with your phone. So if people are like, oh yeah, it's so hard. You guys are pros, blah, 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 blah. Dude, you could do this all. You could buy our course. You could buy all the setup. I use a green screen. Both of us use it 50 bucks each. We use GoPros. That's all we use. You could get everything going today for under $2,000. And I know real estate agents spend freaking thousands of dollars on shit that doesn't work every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So our, 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 number one, our number one video is a cell phone video. Exactly. No, that's great. Let me ask you this and great content, great advice. What really helps you going right now when it does when it's not blowing up as fast? Cause I know all this stuff is coming. I know you're having success, but if you're like me, like in, in my groups, my YouTube channels, all my stuff, I can't grow fast enough. So how, how are you, how can you be patient? You know, especially people that are watching they're new or people that are going, what do you guys personally do when you're not at the numbers you want to hit? How, how hard is that for you guys to be patient or what do you do to kind of handle that? For me, Look, yeah, go ahead. I was going to just say for me, it's like, we were super stoked to get the 1000 dude. And like, when we got there, we we're like, yeah, this is awesome. So now like, I think for me, it's like seeing it grow double every, every term. So like it took us six months to get to 1000, three months to 2000. So it keeps doubling faster and faster. So to me, it's just awesome to see it snowball and, um, and the money obviously is so fantastic, but it's just like knowing for me, I don't really care about the instant results because I know in 10 years or it's even in two to 10 years, all of this stuff that we're filming and creating is going to be there forever. And it's in Google's platform. I mean, there's stuff like we, we do, we have like website, all this stuff. And when people Google us, they find us. And so we've built a lot of stuff to support this as well to like capture everybody faster but we know that YouTube and Google are, are here forever where Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all this stuff is like very now and engaging with the consumers. And that stuff could be fleeting very quick. Well, they're not search engines. They're there exactly. for entertainment. Yep. So you got to have a, a Hollywood film on there to catch people's attention. Whereas you can turn your cell phone on. And if you find a title that people search and it's with your cell phone and you give great information on it, you're going to, you're going to capture those people that you actually want to work with. So yeah, it's tough as hell to get going. Like I'm watching our new channel and it's not getting any views to get one subscriber one day and none for two days. Like it is really hard, <clears throat> hard. But when you get that first call and I'm talking, even somebody who's like, Hey, I'm moving to your city and I, I can't buy right away. I'm going to rent, but your videos have literally like changed my life. I can't believe it. Like, um, I'm, we're totally using you and you'll get these phone calls of these people that just worship you. Like that will make you go on. Like it mm -hmm. is amazing. Our new buyer's agent came on and she gets on these zoom calls and, and, the people first and foremost like, Oh my God, I'm actually talking to you guys. We didn't know if we get you or somebody else. And she's just like, I mean, what, what a great job for a new buyer's agent. No prospecting, no nothing. Just literally here's all these deals. Please go close them. You know? So 
it, you will get that. It, it will motivate you. It'll push you. It's going to be hard, but like, yes, you've got to think of this as your, your retirement, build it up, man. And it's going to grow exponentially. It's like funny too. Cause like Jackson, I like there's, we definitely have like two B's and like people are like, Oh, Jackson's like, where's Jackson? Like when I go and show him houses or he'll contact me like, where's Jesse? And then um, like the other day I went with my buyer's agent to take some clients out and they were like, literally like walked around the, she was in there first. And then I came walking around the corner and they like, literally like their jaws were like on the floor. Like they were like, so like, Oh my God, I can't believe you're here. And I we never another know client. what they look like. They yeah. know what we look like. So I've met so many back when I was doing real estate and taking them for a tour and they would see me and they're like, Jackson. And I'm like, I guess that's them. <laughs> yeah. So, and like, yeah. I, I took another client out a few weeks ago too. And uh, literally we're in this house and he's just like staring at me like, a ghost and I'm like what's up dude he's like I can't believe I'm standing in a house with the with the YouTube celebrity <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's it's fun times when you recognize that's the motivation yeah and, and then calling you dude like that like imagine like calling 500 Fizbos people hate hearing from you they're pissed off where these people are actually like begging to work with you dude we control the whole thing and that's the best part you get people that love you like you trust you and then, like, they're dedicated, man. It's freaking awesome. I love it. Kurt, look, I love it. Those kind of things, guys, should absolutely, this is the direction you want to go. For sure, you want business coming to you. Look, I, I used to make a lot of calls, okay? And I was pretty good at getting people to, to kind of go with what I wanted. But, man, it was so much easier when people started coming to me, just like they're going for Jackson Jesse right now. If you had to pick one reason, what really stands out, why you're successful, what would it be? Consistency, number one. Um, consistency is number one. Like we just bought all in and we went all in and we do videos every 48 hours. If we don't do that, it, it'll take you out of the rankings. It's going to not, you know, not allow your videos to creep up in search. Um, consistency is literally, you hear that in cold calling, in open houses, whatever you're good at, door knocking. Like if you're not consistent with it, if you just sprinkle in here, sprinkle in there, it just doesn't work. So we try and everybody asks for the secret potion, but literally if you just start putting a video out a week or multiple videos every single week that are keyword researched, you will be successful. Yeah. Just like yeah. if you did 700 dials every day, you, you'd get, you'd get some listings. Jesse, anything to add to that? Yeah. I mean like on, honestly, like the consistency thing is like everybody always wants to, when things are start going well, you always like try to like change it and make it better and like, like, I like change the script and make it, it make my closing rate go up. Well, dummy what was doing was working right <laughs> so i think uh consistency is gr is is definitely one and i think like us like <clears throat> having like clear defined rules of like that was like another big thing of like jackson you're on the video only now jesse you're doing the real estate thing because like it was really and it's really taken off since we like really changed it up to that um those rule specifics so yeah, yeah consistency. That, and that's the thing frank if if, if you're really good at cold calling and traditional measures and you're just busy as hell with real estate. You don't have time to do these videos. Jesse took a huge, you know, he took a, a, you know, a leap to basically bring me on. He gave me a percentage of his business so that I could survive and build this out, um, which now has turned into basically the entire business. So if you're a, a producing agent who doesn't have time to do this or you don't like camera, you know, videos, find an agent that's out there that's doing video and not getting a lot of business. Obviously they have time to shoot and edit, team up with them, have them, you know, take the course, have them follow our videos and, and make that part of your business. Bring that agent on and give them a piece of yours to, you know, keep them alive. And then it will pay, you know, it'll re you'll reap the rewards from it in the future. Exactly. Great. Yeah, I'd say, Go ahead. Yeah. I'd say if you're five years out from retiring, you have nothing to worry about. <clears throat> if you're young or even in your, <clears throat> you know, you have 10, 20 years left, man, you better get it going because I just read the stat the other day. I watched uh, explained on Netflix and it said that YouTube is actually about to pass Facebook is the number one social uh, platform in the world. But two, like they said in, the, in 2020, 80% or more of advertising dollars from all big companies are going to be spent on YouTube. So wow. people put their money where the, where the action's at. What has been the greatest okay. struggle so far for you guys? Struggle? Yeah. Dude, I know for me, it was, it was, um, to be consistent was actually, it was killing me to get out and do these tours and then to have to try and do, you know, some of the real estate stuff. I'm just not built to be a, a real estate agent, I guess. 
I'm really built to be on camera and do this video stuff. It's where my passion is. But for me, like when I got away from doing that, the videos sank, you know, the business dropped. And that's when Jesse talked about that. I think we've, we've all read books. I, I listen to audio books because I don't like reading, but every top leader and every top business owner all talked about delegation. And once you delegate, like everybody's businesses went up tenfold. So like, it's so hard for us to try and we want to control every little piece of it. Use a top agent. You're going to want to do everything. It's like, you just delegate, find who's good at what and make them do that. And then everybody's happy and the business explodes. So we, we struggled when we were all, we were both trying to do everything together and the, the communication was off everything. Now it's like, dude, it's just, it's just all working. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I, I a hundred percent agree with that. I still remember like when I called Jackson one day, cause like nothing was converting out of YouTube. And that was like my struggle. I was like, why isn't anything happening? We're working with all these clients. Jackson's out every single day. And then finally, I'm just like, dude, I'll take over all the clients. Send me all your notes. He sent me 500 post-it notes. No. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> scratch pads. And, uh, yeah, scratch pads. And uh, no, we got it all cleaned up, man. It was just like, that's exactly what it was. And that was the struggle. Not my strength. And that's yeah. what I say, like when you, like getting organized early and having like your systems in place and, Jeez, a, gen yeah. and a generic phone number. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I mean, that's, that's really it, Frank. Just go into it. It's, it's going to take some time, but when it goes, it goes and just make sure you're ready for it. So if you're, if you're the good part, if you're great at business and structure and organization and your CRM, getting these people in there and building the searches and stuff that Jesse can do in 30 seconds, it was taking me 30 minutes. And it's just like, you got to have all those, those pieces in place because it will go, it will go. No, yeah, because if you try doing this all on your own and like you're going to build a massive platform, you, you there is absolutely no way on earth, dude. I think I can handle a lot and I'm very good at multitasking. It's impossible. You can't do it. Yeah, I would literally, if I didn't know Jesse, I'd build this channel and I would hire a, a like a just a bulldog real estate agent and be like, you're gonna, I just want you to handle all these. We'll split it. Like, all that business I would just give to somebody to split so that I could continue doing it and grow it. Great stuff. Guys, all the people that are watching you right now, what advice would you give them? What can you tell them right now that is really going to impact them or help them out? I would I, say, I would, oh, go, go for ahead. It. Go for it. I, I would talk about um, really focusing in on search engine optimization. I did a lot of videos on it on our YouTube for agent channel. It's going to help you with the headache. Don't go out there and randomly shoot these videos and don't chase these other real estate agents doing these parody, you know, song videos on, uh, on Facebook and Instagram. Like you see all those views, dude, they're all from real estate agents who think they're cool. And then you see all the comments like, Oh, I'm going to do this too. It doesn't pay. Like my number one tip is find out what people are searching in your city and start shooting videos on that. There will be no competition at all and so get in there find you know get to buddy follow our videos and start figuring out what people are typing into that damn keyboard man and you will you will definitely get a lot more business that way mm -hmm. yeah i mean I, i'm in the same boat i mean if i get another agent dm me <laughs> that says look at my channel what's wrong <clears throat> and i see open house if i see freaking escrow process I know yeah. they're not watching our stuff. Inspection. Yeah, I know. One. I know for a fact they're not watching our stuff. And uh, and to Jackson's point, it is all for the real estate agents. I literally had an owner of a, a real estate agent contact me or talk, call me the other day, and she was like, "Hey, I'd love for you to look at our program. Do you know how many real estate agents love your stuff?" And I'm like thinking to myself, I'm like, if that's what I want to do, that's great. But I'm really here building business to like get my to funnel my business like. So she was basically like confirming that r r real estate agents are watching everybody on these platforms. And she was like, basically telling me like how I could get all these referrals from all these agents, which we already do. And mm -hmm. it was just, I thought it was just funny that, like that they were missing the whole point, you know, the client acquisition and, but yeah. <clears throat> well, well, you got, you guys are absolutely crushing it. I want to give you a chance to plug some of your stuff. So where can they go to find out more information to sign up? What channel should they go on to? We're going to put the links below it, but if you want to do some shout outs for where they should be going right now, take an action. Number one channel is Living in Portland, Oregon. That's the one that's absolutely dominating right now. Hinged off of that is the YouTube agents where I teach you a lot of the tips and tricks on exactly how to do it. You will be blown away with how much information I give you on how to do this. 
And number three, if you're wanting to start a channel or if you already have a channel and you want to mirror one, go to Living in Seattle, Washington and subscribe to that channel and literally just follow that, that playbook right there. I'm building it with every tip and trick that I know possible. So you can see a lot of the video titles. You can see a lot of the thumbnails I'm building and what I'm doing. Just go subscribe to Living in Seattle and, and follow that along. The YouTube course, you'll have it in the link below um, that we built out adding to that because the algorithm changes and things change um, so yeah it's a killer course that's a to z you know start to finish on how to how to dominate in in, in uh, real estate with youtube you made a special uh, uh coupon for that too right <clears throat> yeah yeah we got we got one that's um for for frank and it's just all capitalized frank and you get a huge discount on that yeah guys please go to it sign up look i've been coaching jesse and he's just a baller I, I'm, I'm telling you straight He's crushing yeah. everything. And Jackson is so impressive on the work that he's doing. Please go like, subscribe, comment, watch their stuff, sign up for it. I'm telling you, great. Please, if you want, you know, more guests like these guys too that are killing it, please like, subscribe, ring the bell. But guys, thank you so much for coming on the show. You guys have been awesome. There's so much knowledge that you drop. Everyone watch it again, just to outline take notes process. There was a lot of little tricks in there that, you know, mm. I'm trying to recap for you, for you guys, but I hear them and I'm using the same tricks. They're helping me tremendously too. So any last things you want to say to everyone before we get out of here? Go shoot some videos. <laughs> yeah, man. Get your ass on YouTube. Perfect. All right, guys. Before, before we come in your market and do it. Yeah, That's true. we're moving, dude. We're, I'm telling you, we're moving markets. Like we're going to, yeah. it's going to start on the West Coast. And shoot out your referrals to them as well. They take care of them and they're going to get you paid. So, all right, guys, thank you so much. It was an incredible run as always, Jackson and Jesse. Uh, tremendous having you on here and we'll get that information out to you as soon as possible. Thanks again, guys. Take care and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye. See ya.